2014 is a year of remembrance in Berlin. While the German capital is now a bustling metropolitan city, it still bears the marks of war and of division by east and west. The destruction of the Berlin Wall 25 years ago brought to a close one of the most difficult periods in German history. But the subsequent financial burden led the state to withdraw its funding from the biggest cycle race that the country has ever hosted. Set up in 1948, the Peace Race, or the Friedensfahrt, was an annual multi-stage event that encompassed many of the former Eastern Bloc states. Dubbed the Tour de France of the East, it was seen as a means of improving relations between the countries involved in the Second World War. We were lucky enough to meet up with Klaus Hun, who was the sports director for 38 years. This photo shows the mechanic of the British team in 1954. He is a man who was shot down as a combat pilot over Germany and who had been severely injured as a result. And this example shows you just how much the peace race helped to restore the friendship between our countries following the war. The race attracted an international field, with riders from such countries as Lebanon and France competing. InCycle recently met up with a group of former German cyclists as they prepared to ride part of the 1952 route, the first year the race came through Berlin. The peace race was particularly significant for the GDR athletes, as the country was boycotted by many other sporting institutions for much of the 20th century. Also... I have to say that in the early years, as an athlete, the boycotting did not affect me directly, and I was not particularly interested in it either. For me, it was an extraordinary honour to be part of the GDR team. The fact I had been chosen meant that I was one of the six best athletes. Was the peace race a form of approval for us? Yes, I think so. We had lots of conversations and good relationships with people from other countries. The riders traversed the famous Alexanderplatz and the long stretch of Karl Marx Alley, sites which were devastated by Allied bombing during the Second World War. Berlin was still in the process of being rebuilt when the peace race passed through in 1952, as Tarvis recalls. First, I asked myself, who did this? Who ruined this place? And then I thought, now I am here. A young German sitting in the street. I was sitting on my handlebars. We then put the bicycles down on the street because we listened to the opening speech. I sat there on the street, my stomach full and a white top on my shoulders. I swore to myself there and then that I was going to prove to them that I was a different German from the ones that went before me. The 1952 edition of the race was won by a Briton by the name of Ian Steele. The victory was documented in the local newspapers and epitomised the chief purpose of the event. The peace race was the biggest and best of all. To experience that, wow, such a great race with so many international participants. You can barely put it into words. It was something for young people to aspire to in my time, especially as there were millions of people watching. They were so excited, which is great, as the goal of the race after the war was to connect people again, people that used to be enemies. Picasso's Dove of Peace was traditionally the emblem of the Friedensfahrt. While the race leader's yellow jersey was plain, the blue jersey awarded to the best team was emblazoned with it. Such memorabilia is on show at the Peace Race Museum, located just outside of Berlin. The exhibit was set up in 2007 by one of the event's biggest fans, who remembers the race fondly. Everyone wanted to contribute. Contributing meant that they stood by the roadside on the course and cheered on the cyclists. The places that the race went through were decorated. In 1991, when the peace race didn't go through Germany for the first time in many years, 
I decided that the race needed to be remembered in some way. As I live in Kleinmühlingen, I decided to set up a museum here. While Germany's reunification in 1990 saw the peace race shift from a state-sponsored amateur event to a professional UCI competition, it paradoxically lost popularity. The final edition was held in 2006. In its absence, the race's fans have to appease themselves with a mere board game. Hopes of the event returning are low, even amongst the most fervent of supporters. It's over. There will be no peace race ever again. And even if it did happen again, the millions of spectators who used to watch will be as old as the hills by now, as the saying goes. I have to say the race is over. It's had its time.